Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexandra. Welcome back to my basement on this day. It is the last day I will be down here. So I'm attempting to watch all of the things while it is, so, it's been hot. It's been warm in the Pacific Northwest. Today I was out running errands and I think it's at 85. A little damp, a little moist, <laughs> a little perspiring, but I'm here to catch up an attempt of the boys this is season four episode five and i know season seven just dropped season seven episode seven and people are like oh my gosh like they are every episode but this one was really an oh my gosh so there's gonna be more carnage yeah yeah there's gonna be more carnage i'm intrigued to see what the fallout with annie starlight beating firecrackers ass on, on television. And Sage, Sage and her lobotomies. I swear to the show, I wanna be in the writer's room. I just wanna sit, can I, may I, may I next season? Can I just sit in the corner in the writer's room and just watch, please? I love that so much. Okay, so we're not, gonna get under the big cozy blanket, but I do have some water because I'm trying to hydrate. I hope you have your favorite beverage. I hope you're drinking something way more fun than water. Although water can be hits the spot sometime. But also you're going to remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon where I would love to see you. And if you're ready, I think I am. So let's get to it. In a world of chaos, some things never change and that heroes will answer the call to protect, to inspire. I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't. Welcome to the B-52 Expo. Now please get a- B-52, B-52. Coleman and the Deep. I have a thought, I have a thought. Uh, but I'm also trying to pay attention. Homelander, nice trip home. She knows he went. On the VCU timeline. Phases seven through 19. <laughs> Which we'll be sharing with you all today in exhaustive detail. Super villains, that's my question, that's my thought. We haven't seen a super villain. Like the seven they're superheroes, the, the people they're fighting are just regular humans, like coming to crime. No, it was Supreme. I remember it had the little green pepper speck. Dad, forget about the fucking pizza rolls. Well, it sure sounds like himself. Yeah, that's my thought. I mean, <laughs> right now. if I now. was as bad as they say, then I, I shouldn't be alive, right? I has been on his chapstick. True blue miracle. <gasps> Why don't you get some rest, okay? Uh, Mom and I are gonna go find you a diet Snapple. Okay. Good luck with that. You gave him the V? Yeah. I thought that's what you wanted. You fell out of your coat. She knew it was V. She knew it was V. Look at him, he's fine. <laughs> Without one parent, I just couldn't bear the thought of you losing another one. Yeah, I'm suspicious. Let's welcome our guest, Dr. Dorian Boone. Why'd she mark her name? There was a study done on Oh, that's their place. That's their place. I to do with her home for two weeks, Marvin. I have a job. Right. And the boy needed stitches, which you can be sure we're going to get the bill for. Suspended for fighting, baby? This ain't like you. Dad, I... Uh-uh. They each her up some. Fighting is not how you solve problems. Why not? That's what you do. I am not gonna lose another person I love to this superhero shit. Let me talk to her. You fix this. So, baby girl, uh, you need to fight without looking like you're fighting. Fuck all this cloak of beggar shot. It's bloody freezing out here. How about we do this job? Just you and me. Who is actually Joe? Brother, I don't get you. Half your brain is a fucking tumor. And the other half is questionable. They are decent people. But you and me, we don't belong with decent. I was going to see if he cast a shadow. <laughs> that was supposed to be a clue. He cast a shadow. So. Hey, so where is Colin? Hmm. Did you guys 
get into a fight or something? Or something. How are you? <laughs> Great. So we're both in denial. Mm-hmm, 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 Frenchie. Frenchie. What's with all the long faces? I don't know, maybe because I'm getting blamed for the murder you did. I'll call you a cunt, but you ain't got the depth for the warmth. <laughs> How was it that you took out of you? <sighs> I have no idea. The answer to all our prayers. You see some clever cunts over at Gondolkin University cooked up a bug completely harmless to humans, but to soups. Fuck and diabolical. So you shove this shit into me and Kamiko and we just... So was... His end credit scene and got a uh, Gen V in the middle of this season then? Because why didn't you bring it up sooner? One of a tiny little thing. I need you to get us one presidential pardon. They asked me to join the seven. Are you carrying me, Jesus? Are you? Are you? Please don't come from the cross. Please don't come alive. Please do not come alive. That clips from our new studio division, Vought Faith. Speaking of faith, let's all have a moment of silence for my brother in Christ, Ezekiel. Still searching for this leak. That footage didn't just run itself out of crime analytics. Am I right? Maybe it ran really, really fast. Stay close, Dominic. Oh. Oh, Stan. Stan. <clears throat> I have pottery class in 10 minutes. Right. Stan. Where's your fucking menace? It's not my birthday. And this is not a gift. No, it's not. You didn't know. She shot up sweet little Zoe full of me. Turned her into a tentacle mouth nightmare. <laughs> How about we get you out of here? And throw in custody of Zoe. What an unexpected pleasure. Is it? You know, I've always felt a certain kinship with you. Charming. Wow. Do you have a towel I could place over the seat? It, it wasn't a honeymoon. disaster. Come on, be serious. Acapulco wasn't that bad. Uh, the honeymoon suite had two twin beds. There were <laughs> yeah. people vomiting at the, the swimmer bar. It'd be great to go back, wouldn't it? Yeah. And for the food poisoning? <laughs> no, it's a, just Acapulco. Is it just me or is Simon Pegg sounding a lot like Jack Quaid right here? Like for a second, I thought it was Huey dogging and not dad. To give you this Huey engagement ring for when you propose to Annie. That might have some bad mojo jojo attached to it. And look, I, I, I know you tried to reach out to Huey and I, I should never have kept you away. He did? You gave her power of attorney. I knew. Just, you haven't seen her in years. Did you think I couldn't handle it? You remember when Jar Jar got leukemia and you would not let me put him down until he eventually kind of just, you know, exploded? With and... blood and shit. Yeah, I remember. Right. But I was nine. You are still the same little kid. An advanced directive. Let's just say I didn't want to end up like Jar Jar. This is a trap. Stan taking him to a trap. But if Victoria wanted to keep her proclivities quiet, it'd be here. And they had to bust Stan out of jail to find this place. They just asked him, but I guess they needed an incentive to let him have him talk, but. Um. 
are these people trying to get out who have been virus did You know what I mean. <laughs> infected. They've been infected. So did they bust out or try to bust out? Don't touch that. Don't touch anything, truthfully. Don't touch a butcher. We saw what happened with those gerbils and in the season three, when you were busting out Soldier Boy. You saw a gun. What? Holy shit. Oh. Yes, people, drop. You have five seconds to tell me what you did to Samir or I paint this fucking room red. Who the fuck's Samir? <laughs> but whatever happened to him, it wasn't us. You might as well use their expertise. At the very least, their effective cannon fodder. Thanks. It's really nice of you. But Stan wasn't bleeding from his nose. You can't give up on yourself. And the boy he taught to run. Run faster than that! Just run! I think track coaches and running are always, it's an interesting like concept because, okay, if you're a track coach out there, how do you motivate your person? Like run, run faster, <laughs> kick harder, <laughs> tighten your core. Like how do you, <laughs> how do you manage the technique is my, my question. Listen, man, call me crazy, but I'm sensing a little tension here. You fucking reported that I got shit canned as head of crime analytics. I'm sorry, but look, I gotta take a couple of shots at the home team now and again if I'm gonna appear fair and balanced. First time in Vox history, we have two black heroes in the seven and one unspecified. <laughs> Which is why these articulate heroes will lead Vought's newest diversity initiative, Black Addict. Articulate. Articulate. Specifically for our diverse audience. Custom digital product placement. <laughs> when a white fan streams my movie, you see me holding a brand tailor-made to their tastes. A black fan stream it, They'll see a delicious Vought Imperial Peach Cognac. <laughs> then we announce Ryan's debut series, Super School. That's when you're gonna come out to me and we do like a little two hour. Two hours. Two hours. Hey Ryan, what do you think? Seriously, what do you think? I, I really wanna know. I mean, super school? Has he even been to school? Has he even, Ryan's never been to school, has he? Hit, we are a month away from shooting. Built all the sets, I think we bought up half the sound stages in Toronto. Who cares? Is this because I jerked it in front of Mika Kelly? Because again, that was just crossed wires. Ryan. Guy, what's it gonna take to get you amped? If you want an EP credit, that is done. Saying, give me your black Amex. What? And the keys to your Jaguar. I would love to do that. Ryan, what do you say? No. You're really not mad at me. I'm proud of you for speaking your mind. There's a button here. There's a, there's a something. I've been uh, manipulated by people my whole life. I did some reflecting, and I realized that I've been doing the same thing to you. Mm -hmm. From now on, no more rules for either of us. We are both emancipated from slavery. That's the scary part. Somebody had to protect her. You mean shooting her up with Kung Pao B? You took a bright eyed little girl and you turned her into a- Into a what? A monster? Stick to the shadows, never reach too high? That was to protect you. No, that was because you were ashamed of me. My daughter will never have to live like that. If she stays alive. 
What's gonna happen when we find the virus and this little truce is over? Starlight blinds the bitch, and before she knows what's what, I'll jab her with a dose. Okay. Okay, sure. <laughs> this rabbit is in here running amok. I'm gonna come at them like Monty Python, holy grail. Oh, these agents are fodder. They're the red coats, red shirts, they're the red shirts. We've got a casualty. What the hell is... <laughs> oh, ah! <laughs> a a veed up chicken. An indestructible chicken. So why aren't um Sun Starlight's powers working? Well, you could have warned us your pal Samir was veeing up a Kentucky Fried fucking massacre, couldn't you? I didn't know, okay. And we're supposed to believe you. Right, because you're such a paragon of virtue. You tell your friends about the deal we made? Wait. <gasps> Oh, that's right, I forgot, episode one. It's an absolute wonder to me that you've all managed to live this long. Yes, yes, that is, that is the question. <clears throat> Excuse me, hi, did I say you could take out your vibrating mm. Bluetooth anal beads? This wasn't how I was planning to tell you, but um, this isn't working out for me anymore. Oh, Ashley. It was one thing when you were really in charge around here, but now, I mean. You're a mascot. She's a mascot. She has no power. She doesn't have her power. I don't even think she really had power, but she had a good, she had a good illusion of power. But uh, I hope we can still be friends. You know, if you weren't Homelander's right hand bitch, I'd take you out behind the woodshed and whoop your ass. Because? You set me up to get my ass beat and you fell for it. <laughs> now you don't have to play a victim. You can really be one. <gasps> Wow. Wow. Aren't you okay? Oh. Are you okay? Liar! Liar! And this is the fate. The world, the world is in their hand. The world's in their hand. The safety of the world. Why is Starlight not starlighting? I beat the piss out of Firecracker on national television. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the hell out of it. We can't lose our cool like that. We? Come on, Annie, I'm one of the only people who does get it. I mean, shit, you've been Starlight for so long, do you even know who Annie is anymore? <gasps> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you really got your shit locked down. It is a fucking rabbit. That's the rabbit. <laughs> oh! Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, oh, is that what's in his head? Is that what's inside Butcher? Ladies and gentlemen, Tech Knight! Why is Tech here? It's been a whole year since my last movie. He's had movies. Tech has had movies, not just the series. Don't let them see us talking. Who? Sage, Homelander, all of them. Uh, A-Train? A-Train. The leak wasn't Annika, it was me. A-Train! What the fuck are you, fucking you suicidal? Homelander has supersonic caring. You've done a lot more than just take a shit. And we both know that. Man. We made a deal. So you either help me get Sage off my jock, or you go down with me. The Tech Knight plums a whole new pit of darkness with its soundtrack of Nirvana hits and a 12 minute sequence that's entirely pitch black. And it's a pit, or a hole, as you may describe it. Um, where's dad? I thought he was with you. Uh, mom, uh, why would he be with Huey? <laughs> He's in the hospital. Dad. Hugh? Wait, 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 wait. Um. Let's wait here for a second. Duck. 
if he's got laser eyes. How'd that happen? What did he do? Why? 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 Why don't you sit that down and uh, why, don't you, why don't you come with me? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, ma'am! <laughs> Don't be like that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. All right, why don't, why don't you just, uh, why don't you just come with us? I can. I'm sorry. I've got to take Huey to the Vought Company store. Uh, he's saving up for a Tech Night doll. I'm right here. You're not Huey. He's 11. Why don't we go back to your room? Daphne? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Is he going to remember they kind of sort of made peace? You ruined my life. Huey's life. Dad. I don't... Oh, I don't think, um... Wait, wait. I don't no. think he's gonna... I don't think he's gonna be around for much longer because he can't be controlled. Please welcome the Guardians of Goodall, Sam Reardon and Kate Dunlop. Oh, no. They made a show for them. They made a show for them. My big plans tonight? Not so much. She's gonna maybe fuck your wife. Excuse me? How about this? She wants me to swing by for a late night muff dive? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, he's married? He's married. I know about your little closet of eight armed hand job machine. <gasps> I could cut a package together, have it on the air by tonight. How? How? Wait, how? Let's try and keep it classy, okay? What do you wanna do? You're gonna laugh at me. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to help people. <laughs> like for real. But not like with fake saves, like <laughs> really help. Yeah. You want to help her? Oh no. Yeah. Mr. Director Man is dying. Hey, Adam. He's Send dying. Send the young lady over here, please. And you come too. He's dying. He's there. He's dying. He's dying. Is he making you uncomfortable? Kind of. Yeah. Brian. He's sick. He's gonna die. Adam, I think you should apologize. Uh, I'm sorry if I was inappropriate. Mm. Didn't seem like you meant it. Uh, yeah, that's just that's just my natural tone. Maybe the problem is that Adam is uh, looking down on the PA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Adam, I think you should get on your knees and do it again. <clears throat> now, did was what Adam did right? No. However, I think he may die because of it. Please forgive me. He's still alive. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe he needs to be taught a lesson. He's losing appendages. He's losing appendages. And this is how Ryan goes to the bad side thinking he's doing good. I want you to slap him. Bonnie? Oh. Do it again. <laughs> again. Oh my oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh. <sighs> so extreme. Please. They're all dying. They're all. <laughs> they are all. <laughs> Nothing is going right. Is that right? Is that what I'm seeing? Nothing is going right. Some scenes God should not forgive. Some scenes deserve eternal damnation. What have you done? It's not just one thing, you see. It is so many things. 
You shouldn't really talk to someone. Uh, he, he is. It's you, pumpkin. You're the you're the one he's talking to right now. <laughs> if I tell her, I'm scared she'll hate me. I'm even more scared she won't. <gasps> Oh, are you kidding me? They gave, they gave shit to this. Is that a fucking Vita bull? Oh, oh no, the sheep. What the sheep and the sheeping. The why are the sheep, the sheep are flying. The sheep are flying. The sheep are flying and, and. She's dead. She's dead. Red shirt's dead. Ah, she's dead. She's dead. Okay. What is in the shed? MM, are you sure you're alone in this barn? Oh, more of you. I can't believe this is fucking happening to me again. Hi, Samir. Zoe's not here, is she? Because no, she's okay. No. She's okay. Okay, good. Wait. Oh my God, is that Zoe's dad? <laughs> Doctor Shaw was my top man. What happened? We gave uh, V to a hamster so we could test the virus on it. We ran, but the V had already leaked into the groundwater. Is the virus gone? Yes. Fuck. Except for. Oh. Uh, <gasps> except for one dose. So we injected into your dead buddy over here as bait. And then we put them outside to infect the crazy fucking flying sheep. Or. This man is in no condition to fuck a sheep. They would eat him. Bollocks. That's the only dose. I say we fucking leg it. Which is right. My little baby girl needs me. And I intend on seeing her. You're not a monster, Butcher. You are a motherfucker, but you a motherfucker with a heart. It's the only dose. Do you need to put the whole dose in the guy? You can't say some of it? Just a milliliter or two? How are you so calm? This sort of isn't the first time I've been through something like this. What are you looking for? I don't know, it's topramycin, topratecan, anything we can use to maybe slow that down. What, what, what if we can't? Nothing is gonna happen to you. Don't make that promise. Don't make that promise. You, you, please, please, you, please. I'm here yet. I'm the one you took to the bot store to buy the Tech Night doll. I, remember I, I, was, I was short eight bucks even though I saved for weeks. And you said anything for your number one hero. But that's the thing, Dad, he, he, he never was. You are? You are. Uh-huh. You're my hero, Dad. You, 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 yeah. Yeah, Dad, it's me, it's me, it's you. Where, where, where are we? It's, there's, there's something wrong with me. I don't know what to do. That's okay. I'll stop it for you. I think I do. <sighs> oh, God, this How long did you say it takes for the virus to kick in? Yeah. It's been different every time. Uh. Who's opening the door? The sheep can open doors. The sheep can open. The sheep can open doors. <laughs> Ew. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, gross. Don't touch any of that. Don't breathe it in. Nothing, 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 nothing. But I have a question. So these sheep have the virus. So anything else that feeds on these sheep will also get the virus? Where's Samir? Is that what's going to happen? Where's Samir? <laughs> Not very sporting of you to renege on a deal. The deal was a pardon for the virus. No virus? Oh. No 
whole deal. Oh. Oh. Well, Stan, I think the safest place is in jail in this world. We scoured the property. We couldn't find Dr. Shaw, but we did find this. What is that? His foot? His foot? They found his lower leg. <laughs> now what? Oh yeah, he's dying. He's dying. Victoria's getting him out. Jesus fucking Christ, are you serious? This country is corrupt beyond repair. So we gotta save it. So I'm reaching out to you to do your part. We'll have to do some terrible things, some violent, merciless, maybe even cruel things for the greater good. You'll no longer be beloved celebrities. You will be wrathful gods. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. Anything you need, Homelander. Mm. See. We recently found a leak here at Vaught Tower, and I thought together we might plug it. <gasps> the proof is on his phone. Calls to Marvin Milk. What? I don't know who Marvin Milk is. I, I didn't do it. You're a sick. You're a sick. You're a sick. You're Show me a little wrath. Um, A-Train? Well, no, he didn't, he didn't kill the trio back at the pizza place, but A-Train <laughs> was already involved in one of your schemes there, Homelander. God, Frenchie, what are you, what are you doing? Hold on. Uh, just a moment, sir. Right now, excuse me. Sir, we'll get to you when we I can. I committed murders. Plural. There's a 1013 at the front desk. Sir, please put your hands where I can see them. I would think the CIA knows about Frenchie's murders, right? Or at least know about his history with Nino. How do you know this is even gonna work? If we don't do this, then he spends the rest of his life scared and confused and in prison or, or in asylum. Oh, they're, they're taking him out. Huey's right. I don't want to be Jar Jar. We're losing Hugh. We're losing Hugh. Thank you for taking such good care of our boy. We're losing Hugh. We're losing Hugh. I feel. I'm. I'm. I'm scared. Hey, God, it's okay. Hey, I'm right here. I'm right here. And I, I love you so much. I'm not gonna hold on, okay? You can go. We're losing Hugh. We are losing Hugh. Well, you, you know what? I really want to go. Acapulco. It's Paris. Paris. Three of us, we could do the Da Vinci Code tour. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tom. Tom Hanks. <laughs> I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. This is bullshit. <sighs> I had a feeling Butcher has Samir somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering. How do you do it so fast, though? That was my question. I was wondering if they had somebody had him. You chopped off my fucking leg. Yes, I did. We'll patch you up. Right as rain. And you'll be back to work in no time. Is there anybody there? You're going to make us some more of that virus. I got a question on that. Old MacDonald had a 
farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had some chicks, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, questions. Joe, Jeffrey Joe. Everyone's still kind of, is he only in Butcher's mind? Especially when he was saying, you're going to make us some more of that virus. And Samir looked over as in, is there somebody there? Two, make him a virus with what, Butcher? Do you, are you thinking that the uh, basement lab of death you're just going to reopen it up now and thinking that Victoria or, or Stan aren't aren't going to come by the the barn again. You know what I mean? The farm, the barn farm. And you're just going to get ingredients. OK, Stan not making it back to jail. Not surprised, but won't they be expecting him <laughs> and he doesn't show up and the driver's found dead. How many hidey holes does he have? Probably a lot. Probably a lot. Just when I thought they couldn't make Homelander any more frightening, they somehow do. It's terrifying. It's terrifying that um, it seems unbelievable. It's so extreme, couldn't possibly happen. But it's happening right now. It's happening right now in real time in our world. And it's terrifying. As much as I enjoy parts of the show, that element, that the absolute banana boats isn't so unimaginable is the terrifying thing. Flying sheep death machines. <laughs> Why not? How do we stop? Homelander. And I've missed or I can't remember Victoria being vice president, and of course, possibly potentially president. What is she, what is her goal? What are her goals? I cannot remember why she wanted to be president. Yeah, her goals. I can't remember what. Because it sounds as if Homelander via Sister Sage, but Homelander is going to start running the world. The world. Yeah. Also, okay, so we know we saw potential super, they were making, Homelander was making the super villain to justify having superheroes in the military. There are no other superheroes in other countries. No other agency, Vought didn't go Vought International and do what they do globally. Because we are such a global community now, I'm, I would be surprised if it was just United States. Why wouldn't they take over the world? Am I thinking too much? Possibly. Because every time, again, nothing went planned and they didn't get a win. They didn't get a win. And now Hugh Senior is dead. Why? Why? Why did we give him a stroke? Storytellers, excuse me. Why did we give Huey's dad a stroke? Why did we make him take out a bunch of people in a terrible, terribly terrific, horrific -y way? Why? Why did we take away Huey's dad? Why? 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 Huey's has already been kicked in the nuts several times. We don't, we don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. No. He could have been out there in the world just knowing that Hugh Senior was out there in the world reading his books and watching his show was fine. We didn't need to... No. 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 So is this the halfway part of the season? Is this the halfway part? How much lower? I don't know if I want to know how much lower we can sink. <laughs> okay. I shall leave you with that. Here we go. Episode five. Down a few more to go. I'm going to try to catch up. But thank you so much for being here with me today. And for being with me the last couple of years. You all are what makes this so much more fun. So in the meantime, take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. It's hot in lots of parts of the world. Um, eat something and, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.